Are you guilt tripping yourself out of having a really successful and happy life? Maybe you're telling yourself that you have to do all these different things. You have all these obligations and none of them really lead to what you want as an outcome and you don't enjoy doing them. Are you holding yourself back from living at your full potential by telling yourself that you have to do certain things? Are you guilt tripping yourself and do you feel obligated? Like if you don't do what other people want from you, there's something wrong with you or that you're just not deserving or good enough and that you won't get any love. This is a way of thinking that's been built in to many of us and it's quite difficult to overcome if you're caught in the echo chamber of it all because the challenge really is that you don't realize you're doing it and it becomes the norm. You know, it's those subtle little phrases like, I have to go to work, I have to do this, I have to do that. You don't really have to do anything other than your basic needs, but there are also many different ways to cover your expenses, your finances, right? And so we decide that, well, I have to do it this way, and all of a sudden, it's almost like we've limited ourselves to this really small sample size of experience that we truly don't enjoy. Maybe you feel like you have to hang out with and spend time with people that don't really seem to be on the same page as you. Maybe they're not like-minded. Maybe you're not happy when you're around them, but you know, those are the people that you've always spent time with. So you continue to do so. Look, so long as you keep reaffirming to yourself that you are obligated, that you owe something to someone, that's how long you'll have to keep doing it for. And that's how long you'll continue to feel unhappy about it for too. Because how much better is life when you get to do something, when you're excited about it, and when you actually care, you're invested. When you wanna spend time with somebody, the time flies by and you can barely keep track. On the other hand, if you feel obligated, if you feel guilt, then it drags on forever. And so it is with everything in life. And therefore, I would like for you to ask yourself the question, do I really have to, or do I get to, because I want to, because I choose this? Sometimes you just have to reframe it and you realize, wow, this is an opportunity, a blessing, something that I can really enjoy. Or you realize I shouldn't be doing this. And that's when you can stop and change your behavior. So I just want you to mentally note to yourself and to start to realize whenever you tell yourself that you have to, that you're obligated. Do you really believe it? Do you buy it? Is there no other way? Is this really all that you can choose? Of course, there are many other options that you don't even realize exist because you have blinders on and you're so focused on what's in front of you. So often, autopilot takes over and it overrides our own conscious mind. We really go into a state of unconsciousness and things just kind of proceed as they do without any of our input. And so it's up to you to take a moment where you really become aware of what's been going on, where you really realize how much guilt tripping you've been doing to yourself and maybe even to the people around you. It's time for a change. It's time to interrupt and break the old patterns, to build something new. And today is the day where you can make a decision to say, you know what? No longer am I going to just go with the flow and continue to do things that I don't really want to. If you don't like the work that you're doing, do something else. There are many other ways to make a living or to make a fortune even. If you don't like your friends, go make some new ones. Be proactive. If you don't like the way that you're working out because it's gotten boring and stale, maybe join a new sports activity like a club or a team or something like that that pushes you and motivates you to be more active and in a way that you would actually enjoy. If you have to eat really boring and bland food so that you can be in great shape, your diet just doesn't seem that exciting, well, find a way to make it exciting find healthy recipes that would actually get you excited about eating healthy instead of having it be a chore. Remember that you get back as much as you invest and put into something. And so if you're constantly complaining and finding things that are wrong and looking at how everything about the people around you is flawed, 
well, potentially this is a you problem. And so you don't have to keep thinking this way and feeling this way too. Remember, it's part perspective and part reality. And it's really finding out which piece needs work that is a little bit more challenging. And the biggest reason it's such a challenge is because you have to be extremely honest with yourself. And this can be quite difficult and jarring because it's uncomfortable to really say I'm the problem or the way I'm looking at things is really quite negative and flawed and I need to change my mindset and shift the way that I'm thinking here. But it's also really uncomfortable to say no to people that you care about, to you know, walk away from things that you feel you are obligated to do. That can take a lot of character and it can create a strain and a pressure mechanism that of course will make you feel unhappy in the short term. And so people choose the immediate gratification to feel good right now. You know, it's easier to just take the guilt and then have everybody be happy with you. But in reality, in the long run, what that does to your self-esteem and how you feel about yourself, your self-image, and also your total happiness and overall quality of life is really negative. If you want change in your life, if you want growth, if you want improvement, it requires some form of sacrifice. You don't get to stay the same person, stay in your little comfort bubble, and also have all this upside at the same time. Typically speaking, of course, there might be some rare instances where that works for a time, but in the long term, you'll see that things have to change. And it's about being okay with that, being comfortable with the uncomfort really makes you almost invincible and it makes you feel really just at ease. What it gives you is peace of mind and acceptance. From there, it's much easier to do what you know you need to do, even if it's uncomfortable and you're able to take the next step and the next step and the next step towards your goal. And hey, look, if you want help taking the next step in your life, if you wanna level up your day-to-day -day performance, your goals to have clarity exactly on where you're going, what you need to sacrifice, what you need to shift or change to really dial in your habits and every other aspect and area of your life, then I invite you to come over to eraphael.com and over there you can book yourself a one-on-one -on -one call with me. We'll talk, see if we're a good fit. And if so, I could be coaching you every week. Again, if you wanna take advantage of it, eraphael.com, the link is in the description. As always, I hope that you have enjoyed this one and I'll catch you on the next one.